Hello friends, this is size 10 Bablo scrub hook and thread I'm using is olive, light olive and I'm going to start below the eye using touch and turn. I will explain all the materials. Keep going towards the bend using touch and turn. Spin the bobbin to unwind the thread so it becomes flat. So you can, it sits nicely on the hook. Another thread I'm using is black because it's a two color combination for this bozo. It's a black and olive. I'm going to catch this block here. I'm going to create the ribs and head with the block. So keep going and stop just in the middle of the shank, uh, 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 bend, sorry. Right. Again, open your thread and then as you can see it's sitting so nice on the hook. So when it becomes flat it sits nicely. Keep coming back up towards the uh, eye. Okay. I'm going to finish with this olive thread. Then neck. Now this thread block I'm going to spin the bobbing to create this uh, make a nice and uh, tight like a rope you know once you spin it it becomes really nice and tight and this one just to create a ribs so keep coming up and that's enough and as you can see these are your ribs are done unwind your thread again and work with the head okay um, I'm gonna put the cheeks on the buzzer this is a grass green color spawn flex so I'm gonna go around the thread grab both end like this create a loop and catch it underneath couple of turn to scale few turn and keep this side away from you and this side towards you either side of the hook and then keep it downward and hide this thread lock it properly and then come back now let it go because it's nice and secure now okay I'm going to put some flashback this is a Melar you know a Mirage tinsel large size so cut this piece I'm just going to cut this point so it sits okay back in the middle catch this mirage on top of the hook just to make sure it's sitting okay if you're not happy just go back again it has to be right in the middle it doesn't have to be but just to create a nice pattern so everything has to look nice smooth head Okay, now bring all, both of these cheeks forward and 
cut them secure them properly and cut them off one by one very close just to make a nice head so bring this mirage and make sure it's sitting in the middle I need to give a nice stretch on this thing because if you stretch it it makes a nice color you know so cut one end and take this off now form with a nice smooth head and we finish cut this off you see if anything sticking out so that looks okay to me now you can use UV raisins or varnish entirely up to you. I need to add some more darker color. So this is a you know pearl green perm pro marker. You can get that from any craft shop. Just add a little bit on the body and onto the cheeks as well. And uh, the last thing I'm going to do is add some UV raisins and make sure you have a brush, it will be a lot easier. I ordered this without brush, so it will be difficult. So I'm going to use the needle to work with this. Like I said, you know it'll go all over but take your time make sure you kill this quickly with the head because I need a nice and shiny head with this one because this pattern is although this pattern beginning of the season and works really well also in summer as well so I'm gonna cure this first once it's cured then it's secure properly you don't have to worry about this going anywhere you know and just a bit on the body as well for the body you can use thin nice and shiny body your time on this thing when you're doing this and if you find it easier with the brush to use the brush I used to use brush but I don't have this uh, I hope I ordered this one large bottle from China good price but I think if they provide with a brush it would be a lot easier but anyway so they have uh, one of my favorite spring and summer time buzzer uh, as you can see it's really nice and glossy works really well and i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching